OK, well it seemed rather appropriate to uh, do a quick video on Clarence Larkin. Uh, he fits in quite nicely with uh, C.I. Schofield and Clarence Larkin has influenced a lot of people over the last hundred plus years. And uh, here you see a very old edition of Dispensational Truth. They don't uh, print these types of uh, publications anymore but uh, when it came out it would have been quite expensive I imagine uh, we got this second hand from a bookshop and uh, this is nice, dedicated to the Lord Jesus Christ not many people that do that but uh, a lot of information in here if you want to get into the rapture the millennium and uh, of course Larkin was very much into the gap theory and uh, as I've already said, that's, uh, he's influenced a lot of people. So if you want to get back to uh, historical dispensationalism, you want to go to Clarence Larkin. A lot of text here. And uh, as usual, if you want to pause and read at your own leisure, that might be the best thing to do. Difficult to know where to start uh, with him. So I think what I'll do is I'll just look at some of the charts and uh, see if they are any help to you, the viewer. Uh, I feel that uh, people who have the gift of writing and doing drawings primarily are worth their weight in gold. It's always good to see a chalk talk uh, done on the street. And uh, I can imagine Larkin perhaps doing that before he made it big. Uh, we got here something about the papacy. Uh, now, of course, if you don't believe in the rapture, here's your man. Uh, they claim that uh, Ribera, I hope I pronounced his name correctly, is the person responsible for taking the heat off the papacy. A lot of people believe that the rapture is a lie. And uh, because a lot of people don't hold to the papacy being the Antichrist, uh, but a type of the Antichrist, that uh, we've been hoodwinked. But uh, the Bible just keeps that there is a rapture. The Greek word is harpazio. And it's true that the word rapture doesn't appear in your Bible, but uh, nor does the word uh, trinity. Uh, but uh, it is still nonetheless a biblical fact. Uh, he does add quite a few comments uh, to scriptures you go through here and this is a helpful uh, chart here's one of the prophets and of course he cannot uh, distinguish between the first coming and the second coming so of course many times a comma will simply distinguish between the first and the second advent and he very clearly and vividly draws that out of course there's uh, Daniel Nebuchadnezzar so if you're a bible student and you're looking into the millennium the tribulation, the rapture you could do a lot worse uh, than Clarence Larkin but like all of these guys you need to check what they say and write and print in light uh, in light of scripture don't just take their word for it because uh, they are highly thought of do your own research you can never know enough filter everything that they say in light of scripture uh, this is interesting about the amount of times the Lord's Supper is mentioned compared to the second coming uh, Paul refers to it 13 times to baptism uh, speaks of the Lord's return 50 times. The main theme, of course, of the Bible is a king, Jesus Christ and his kingdom and millennial reign. And he is absolutely right that the Lord's Supper, which is important, but it's not the main theme of the New Testament. The main theme is the second coming of Jesus Christ. And a lot of people don't want to deal with that, so they become post-millennial or amillennial or pre-trust. And... Uh, according to 1 Corinthians 15, overthrow the faith of many. Uh, but we believe the rapture is still future. 
There you go, First Thessalonians 4.15. And it says, comfort one another with these words. And uh, somebody once said, why would you be comforting somebody with these words if the Antichrist is going to turn up and uh, cut your head off? People will die in the tribulation. Many people will die. But uh, we believe that the church, between now and the tribulation, will be taken out before the Antichrist arrives. Again, I'll just... Uh, film as much text as I can and let you the viewer pause it and read it uh, the secret birth public arrival is the king that's true uh, the first uh, account of the birth have the shepherds in the field whereas when the uh, wise men arrive the whole town knows about it it's a bit like the rapture he comes for us in the clouds we got to be with him only the church goes up, but the second advent he comes back to the earth and the whole world gets to see that. You'll see the sign of the Son of Man. He'll be very much fixed in the clouds and you will not be able to avoid it. Never mind television and the radio and the internet. Uh, just open your curtains and look out into the sky and you'll see this uh, tremendous sign of the Lord's uh, return to earth. Uh, if our influence is correct, then it follows that the rapture of the Lord will take place before the close of this present century. Now this, again, is a typical example of checking what these guys say. Uh, he's not the first person to do this. Now, I'll add a quick footnote here, because we don't like people who take chances of date fixing. Uh, the false prophets do it, and uh, it's, it's completely unacceptable. The Jehovah's Witnesses have done it. And they equally are guilty of doing this. Now here he has taken uh, a chance to date the Lord's return and it hasn't come to pass. Dangerous, very, very dangerous. But I suppose what he would say is that that's just his own uh, reckoning. He hasn't actually said the Lord told him that, so he covers himself. But nonetheless, it's dangerous, foolish, very silly. But does that negate everything that he's written? And I would say probably not. But uh, you've got to be so careful when you get involved with ministries. Check what they say in light of scripture. Study to show yourself proved unto God. Uh, it's pretty uh, scathing of worldly Christians. And rightly so. They go to uh, the theatre or the cinema. And they're not at home reading their Bible. And there you go, rightly dividing the word. Not everything in here uh, what I concur with. But I don't want to uh, throw out everything either. So I'm going to close this video short. There's a lot of material in here. In fact, if I'm honest with you, I haven't read all of it myself. Uh, I got a bit bogged down with it. It's not the easiest of publications to read. But uh, it is very interesting. There's a lot of truth in here. Uh, the charts I think are brilliant and not many people in recent years have been able to uh, delve as deep into uh, Bible prophecy as Clarence Larkin and other greats uh, that have gone before him for me, the charts make this. Uh, I don't read all the text. It's quite uh, time-consuming, but I think I'm going to close with the charts. Uh, before Larkin, nobody else had done anything remotely similar to this, uh, to the best of my knowledge. And since uh, Larkin, all of the main Bible teachers have pretty much copied him and plagiarised him. I think Hal Lindy is guilty of this. And... Uh, I think of the time that Jimmy Swaggett got caught plagiarising uh, Phineas Stakes' writings. Credit should be due, uh, but credit's due. If somebody has helped you, or has been a blessing to you, then you should credit that person uh, where possible. Even if they are controversial, even if they are divisive perhaps, nonetheless, if they've given you some truth, if they've been able to share something with you, give them credit, credit where credit's due. I'm going to close with the millennial land. Very important part of scripture, as we've already shown you. 
Give yourself a copy of uh, Dispensational Truth. If anything else, just research it, check it for yourself in light of scripture. And if it matches with the Bible, retain it. And if it doesn't match the Bible, then put it in the bin. But uh, you can never know enough. And uh, from what I have seen of this and looked at this, I'm pretty content to give it a thumbs up. Uh, but uh, I haven't read all. I haven't read all of it, so uh, keep that in mind too. But uh, what I do know of this, I think it's uh, very helpful. And uh, I'm going to sign out now and say thank you, as always, for watching these clips, and uh, every blessing to you.